If you are looking for a way to annotate a paper turned into Canvas without having to download that document to your computer, Canvas has come up with a way to do that in its uh, latest upgrade, which uh, takes place at the end of September. Here you are looking at an assignment, and one submission is ready for grading. So you click the speed grader, and this document turned in by a test student is shown by a preview application called Crocodoc. Why they call it Crocodoc, I have no idea. But notice that you have these tools. You can, for instance, insert somewhere um, a comment such as that, or let's say, let's go ahead and zoom in on this document some more and, and move it around. You can choose, let's say, an area comment, uh, comment Uh, if you want to drill in even further, you can use a draw tool. If you want to circle a word that you want to comment on, you can also cancel if you wish. You can also highlight text by choosing a text color. And there you see the highlighted text. And if it doesn't appeal to you, you can delete it as well. So there's a way to undo. There's text that you can add if you wish just to put in a note uh, somewhere on the document. You can do it that way. You can also use the strikeout tool to uh, suggest text that could be eliminated because it's superfluous, superfluous or extraneous or, or whatever. And then you can also make a comment over here as you usually do. Nice paper, but here are a uh, few suggestions. You can also, just as you did before, use a rubric to go around and um, mark a paper up uh, as to its score um, and then enter that score in the uh, field. So that the comments, the, now the paper is fully annotated, the student can see what work needs to be done. This is a tremendous tool. Now, how does it look from the student's perspective? Let's find out. From the student's perspective, uh, he or she will see under recent feedback the grade for assignment three. And when the student clicks on it and clicks this preview button, the area for examining the paper looks a little bit constricted and it may take a little bit of time for the student to get used to it, but by zooming out the student can see the comments and then can zoom back in and uh, just just move things around a little bit so that uh, the student can get a better view. The student can also download the annotated PDF. So eventually, after the document is downloaded to the computer, this is what the student will get, including the uh, various comments that were made on the paper, which uh, add value to the uh, uh, grading process.